we are going to be walking through the primary offensive systems for volleyball, starting with the 5-1. This is when you have one center who rotates all the way around in all the positions, and you have five hitters at all times. This is great for consistency because the hitters like the consistency and the setters understand their hitters very well. This is one of the more popular offensive strategies. Next, we're going to talk about a 6-2. This is when you have two setters and you primarily run the back row setter and the front row setter is going to be a right side. So when this right side rotates to the back row, they are now the setter. And when this back row setter rotates to the front row, they are now the right side. This is often used when you have two setters who are also really good hitters. Now let's talk about the 4-2. This is used at a lot of the lower levels and also middle schools. This is when you have two setters and four hitters and the front row setter is the primary setter. And the back row setter is just another back row defender. When the back row setter rotates to the front row, they are now the setter. And when the front row setter rotates to the back row, they are just another defensive player. Now let's talk about a 6-6. Six, six. This is often used in rec leagues, and it's when everyone hits and everyone sets. The setter will always be in the right front, and whoever rotates in the right front is the setter. So when this person rotates around to the right front, they are now the setter, and everyone else is always the hitters. Everyone sets, everyone hits. Now let's talk about a different variation of a 5-1, sometimes called a modified 5-1. I call it a 5-2. It's when you have one setter who rotates all the way around just like you would in a 5-1, except when this setter gets to the front row, they're subbed out for a different setter. We might normally do this if you have a short setter and a tall setter. So when the short setter gets to the front row, you sub them out for a taller setter who can block. I have done this before and it works pretty well. Let me know what your favorite offensive strategy is in the comments.